just look at this amazing planet, you guys! It's so green, and there's so many trees. This is definitely a fantastic home. We are going to conquer this planet. We are going to become the Omnom Omnivore, who will rule over this world and uh, establish our dominance as a species. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spore. And we are back with our little Omnivore on planet Aline. I forget what we're calling these guys right now. I don't think they really have a name that has stuck just yet, but we're really excited. We've been doing pretty good. The only downfall that we have struggled with so far is the fact that I've been a little bit too nice to everybody. So we're actually not uh, dipping down far enough to become adaptable. We really do want to try to continue on the omnivore route, but I just did not eat enough meat last time. A lot of people are saying, Sarah, you abandoned the omnivore point of doing an omnivore edition. But I didn't mean to. I really literally just forgot that how much of the meat and the plant matter that you eat in cell stage depends on if you're an omnivore or not. I thought if I had the omnivore mouth, we'd be fine, but apparently not. So there's a chance we may have to actually keep our little sucker that we have on the front of our face for the entire duration of our species. But that's okay, because a lot of you guys are thinking coming up with kind of like an aggressive hummingbird species may be really fun. We just need to turn these cilia into wings. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, we need some little talons to help us jump around too. Oh, and is that just some some bones? Are there just some bones over here? Wait, no, it's a stick. It's a glowing stick. It's my glowing stick. Okay, let's see. Can I do something with it? Can I do something with it just yet? Not yet. I need some graspers. Hmm. I wonder if we're ever going to have graspers as a bird-ish species. But we might. There are actually are some bird species that have graspers. Uh, oh, and I need to eat. So let's go look for some meat so we can try to become a little bit more adaptable. Rather than just social and friendly like the fennel. But, oh my goodness, I think making an aggressive hummingbird species would be pretty fun. And they may end up with graspers because there are species out there that actually do have uh, bird wings, but then they have like little claws on the end, like the baby moorhens! The baby moorhens that some of you guys may have seen inside of my vlogs that we had recently. Dang it, and it's more slugs who are really cute. Ugh. I need a way to attack if I want to be able to eat some meat. So, hmm. Do I want to eat these slugs? Why do they have to be so cute? I never want to attack the cute ones. Oh, there's some bones over here. Let's go ahead and collect these pieces. Maybe if I can find... All right, there's a two paw that might help us move a little quicker. Maybe if I can just manage to find... Oh, and don't mind that. That was just me taking a picture. Some... Let's eat some of the fruit for now. Darn it. I don't want to eat fruit. I want, I want my little aggressive hummingbird to eat some meat, but I need to find somebody that I can attack first. I don't want to attack these little guys. They're just so cute. I mean, look at them. How could you attack this slug in good conscience? You know what I mean? All right, let's come over. We'll go ahead and greet him. Hello, slug species. I shall ally with you, but only because you're adorable and I have a very soft spot for slugs. Ta-da! Wonderful. Let's come over and befriend the alpha. And then we'll get some parts. Uh, I can't dance! How are you dancing? Oh, and there's something popping into existence over there. I'm gonna go eat it. How dare you be a dancing slug? I, I can't tap dance yet. All right, what's over here? These look like, these look like they could be food. Why not? Soft, vulnerable little, little cocoons of who knows what. Are you guys gonna hatch? I'm hungry. I need to eat, but I'm not tough enough to eat yet. Ugh, okay. We're gonna have to go all the way back home, I think. And we're gonna have to go find a mate, and we're gonna have to teach that mate. Oh, there's some bones right over there. Wonderful. We're gonna have to teach our child, or evolve our child, so that we'll be able to be a little more aggressive. Because I know. Oh, look at the war eye. Because I know that we need to start attacking if we want to follow a true omnivore route. I've already messed up by being too peaceful. That's so me, getting excited by the plants to the point where I'm already throwing the point of uh, being an omnivore into into chaos. I'm already threatening that just because I'm being too nice. So let's come over. So me, just distracted by plants. And we're gonna fix this. We're gonna become a wee bit more aggressive. There's my meat. The other chemist. La 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 la. And let's try making a slightly more aggressive version of ourselves. All right, let's put the little egg right in the little nest. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see, let's see. 
cute little egg. Oh, we have like perfectly camouflaged eggs. Just like a good bird species. I'm so proud. But let's make some changes with the new parts that we have been discovering. I don't know. Oh, look at that. How the heck do we have so many pieces already? That's amazing. Like we've got a lot of pieces. How did we get all of these already? I could have sworn we needed to like find them. Huh. Huh. And uh, I guess we can't unlock the omnivore mouths. We're stuck unlocking the herbivore mouths, which means we're forever stuck with our little our little sucker. All right, well, that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of parts unlocked already, which surprises me. Ooh, sorry about that, Chemus. That kind of surprises me. Oh, and I forgot we do have the ability to kind of attack with our little, our little pokers. But let's see, maybe, maybe what we'll do Hmm, is we could get some arms and we might be able to be a little, slightly more aggressive with like using these offensive techniques. Charging. Wow, how is all of this unlocked? I could have sworn like we haven't found any of this. Huh. Like aren't these almost all of the pieces? <laughs> This is a little interesting. I, I guess I maybe shouldn't question it too much. Um, I have no idea why that's there. I haven't used a cheat or anything. All right, well, let's see. Um, the grabby struck. I think we need just some nice new feet that will give us a little bit more of a sprint and some dance. And then I hear that uh, we want something with good jump is what we're really looking for. Uh, for, let's see, sprint, sprint. So I think maybe using the Gekinator will help us out. That'll give us a little bit more speed and that'll give us some jump. So we'll go ahead and use those. We'll make them kind of small because we have small little feet. There we go. And then... Man, it's kind of hard when you're you're designing your new creature. You don't really know where you want to go with them. But I think what I want to do is I want to make a little bit more of an offensive front so that we can like poke things <laughs> and then eat the things we poke. So come on, Kimis. We want to keep you kind of like a little hummingbird. They always look so weird when you start to mess with things in sport it always looks so ridiculous all right why don't you get back down there we go we want you to be fast and we want you to be an aggressive little hummingbird let's pull your cilia back like this i guess they don't really they haven't seemed to need defense on the back like that let's see and i just want to pull this head up this part down that's a little more like it kind of like let's see whoa <laughs> well if i move the eyeballs back up here they look kind of like a weird little a weird little uh, mosquito more than anything at the moment. Um, but we need to attack. And to attack, we kind of need like the mace ball or like this thing right here to be able just to zip in and kind of grab something. Uh, aggressive hummingbird species, eh? All right, let's try turning this this way. Wow, look at the pincers. What the heck, that's so cool. All right, and we'll pull you kind of down like this and then up like this, there we go. And maybe we can change the eyes out now. Hmm, well there's not really a cute eye just yet unless I have one over here. Oh, we do have the hubba hubba eye. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> You've got like this cute hubba hubba eye on, on top of uh, a creature that otherwise looks like it's going to destroy you. We kind of look a little bit like an elephant right now too. All right, and I wonder, can I shrink this down? Maybe I can shrink the little sucker part down. This is so much harder than I remember. And then I do need something to help me with better singing, but we're always gonna have to have this little sucker bit because I messed up early on with the omnivore part. So maybe if I just put those on either side and then we have this right in the center. This is actually looking kind of interesting. Huh. And then if we make those really small, because we're always going to have to have our little omnivore mouth so we can still eat some meat. But they're like little feelers that come down, almost like little whiskers. What? What have you turned into already? This is so interesting. All right, keep up, keep up being interesting, little one. And let's see, do I have some of the wing things unlocked. I have some horror lumps. And then back here, I've got a feather bluster. And I've got some sprint. Uh, yeah, I've got some of the wings unlocked. This is like the, the dragonfly wing though, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. 
We're, we're changing into something, all right. I have no idea what I think about some of this, but let's see, maybe if I... And in the future, guys, don't worry, I will do like little speed throughs of building the spore creatures. Just this one, since it's one of our first ones, and I need to look up the cheats again. Oh, that's a little bit better. Compact, looking good. Maybe I can swap the cilia out. Have to be careful, because once I get rid of those, I can't get them back. Maybe I can scooch this down here. And then we can do some feathers instead. Oh, it even sounds like a bird. That's so cool. All right, some feathers in the back. And we did have a lot of feathers with the fin -aw too, but we never really tried to make them a jumping species. They really focused on tap dancing. So, oh, what about that? It's almost like a dragonfly creature. Interesting. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. And then maybe, so do we want striking to be our thing we use as an attack? Do we want charging to be our thing? Charging kind of seems pretty good because it does focus on, um, in fact, charging might be better than striking. I have to think because charging would actually allow us, hmm, to kind of like fly in and then bam, but striking might be cool too. We'll try with striking for the first time and we'll see what that does. And how do we have so many points? I didn't mess with any settings, so I think I'm just like constantly stunned. I didn't expect to end up with, uh, I didn't expect to end up with so many so many points or so many parts. I could have sworn you're supposed to like gather all the parts. Who knows? Spore is doing its spore things. All right, and let's come over here. We'll pull the feathers back a little bit. How's that look? Pretty cool. Can we clone that? Let's see. I wanna keep them, oh, that's so cool. All right, and I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something you can hit to like copy. Is it alt? Yeah, there we go. And then you just copy it and you can scooch the feathers around some more. There we go. And now I am out of points. So let's see how we look with the dab of paint on us real quick. <gasps> wow, guys! The mouth is a little bit off to say the least, but I have to say we're looking pretty cool. We're looking pretty cool. I have to get the feather out of the eyeball. Uh, so let me do that. Let me pull this back a little bit. Maybe pull the eye forward a little bit. And then I have to make like a proper body and I have to get the, the mouth to blend in a little bit better. Come on, sink in a little bit. But I think we're making some good progress. All right, let's see how we are actually in action. This is exciting. And also kind of confusing because it's not quite going where I thought it would. There you go, pictures, pictures. Ah, oh, we look so different. We need more parts, we need to grow. Oh, I forgot we still have our little spike on our rump to protect us. Oh, look at us. Let's go forward. Let's go forward and feast. Oh. Oh, we're learning to charm. So cute. Oh, so the slug was charming us, not tap dancing. Oh, and now we're gonna learn to strike. Sweet. All right, we're hungry. Let's go kill some food. Cause we need to be, yeah. And now we can charge too. Wonderful. And it looks like the sun is setting. Oh my gosh, our parent has to teach us like everything because we're doing so much. All right, dance. Are we ready? Can we go now, mom? I want to go into the big world. I want to take over everything. Yes, there we go. Woo! <gasps> Guys! We can start flying! Look at us go! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, so now we really have some action. So let's head away from our allies. And we're gonna go look for some new sources of food. Look how cool this is! And we're gonna go look for some more parts. I've never really tried to be a flying creature before. This is awesome! Yes, okay, let's take to the skies. And I guess we're doing this because we wanna be able to seek out more food. Is that red spice? Darn it, that is red spice. All right, what's this? What's this? These look fragile, whatever they are. Ah, good, finally something that's aggressive so I can be aggressive. I mean, eventually, ooh, and now there's the late eye, nice. Eventually, we're just gonna have to be aggressive no matter what. All right, they had some good eyeballs. And now we have to see if their eyeballs are good to eat. Swapping over, let's see, the croon. Ah, this one's coming for me. Da-da, 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 take this. Take this, I'm gonna bite you. 
I'm gonna bite you and I'm gonna strike you and I'm I did it! I did it, you guys! Now we have some food. Alright. There we go. So we're living the om nom omnivore lifestyle. And I think all of the croon have uh have disappeared on us. But if we hunt a couple more of them, we get some DNA. Let's see. And I think if we take out an alpha croon, maybe we'll be able. There we go. Take that. Take that! We look so funky when we fight. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Alright, we gotta bite, 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 bite. Come on, and then strike. <gasps> we got it! Alright, we got some derma bark. We might be able to line ourselves with that to be able to protect ourselves a little bit more. And we're so fierce! Look at us go! Now, now the goal is to find all of the parts that we need. There we go. Let's hunt this guy. Come here, little one. Sorry, you're just really yummy. And I am an aggressive predator now. That's right. Come on. Take this. Take this. Alright. And bite. Come on. Bite, bite, bite. And... Alright. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh! Don't die! Don't die, me! I'm gonna need to start gathering uh, my people as allies to me. There we go. And I'm feasting upon my meal. <laughs> kind of violent as usual, but it's kind of funny because we have to eat with our tiny little suckers since our big beak is actually meant for being an herbivore. But it's cool because it's like we have those as little whiskers and thus we're able to continue our omnivore lifestyle. Um, let's see. And we're slowly, that hardly affected our ability to focus on being adaptable over social. But we are not like the social slugs. We have an appetite, but not terribly, like, I want to eat everything, destroy everything appetite, like the Leopli either. Because sometimes the fruit is really good. But maybe the reason we have the appetite we do is because the fruit isn't always in season. I wonder if this planet will say that it has really intense seasons that change. There's not always always fruit and that is why we uh, we learn to adapt and survive by eating different types of food also it's so pretty here at night and it's so much fun just to jump over something and fly over it I want more wings that's what we're looking for now are more wings all right there's another pile not to mention it's really nifty to be able just to fly away from enemies that are yelling at us like these guys Ooh, I got some toxic talcin, which we can use to strike things with. So what are you guys? Oh my gosh, their names are like in Russian, so I can't even read them. But we have a couple of them dancing way over there. Hey, 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 hey. Look at how nifty that is. I wonder if we're also little raiders. Opportunistic raiders. We're just jumping in, snagging what food we want. And then we can just zip away with our wings. This is so cool. Na, 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 na. No! You guys did get me! <gasps> and I got new wings! You guys, yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Also, can we turn this into our new home? Can I really make this into one of my new nests because I destroyed everyone who lived in it? Maybe we're adaptable like that too! <gasps> Look! Look at this! I took over their nest! I took over their nest so I would have a spot to heal! This is so cool. I didn't know I could do that because I've never really tried being super, super aggressive. Also, what the heck is rolling down the hill? Did you guys see that? All right, let's fly over there and we're going to see what's rolling down this hill. Tiny rocks. Why are the tiny rocks falling from the big rock? Oh, and I can have a pack member now. Okay, it's probably time to go get a pack member. All right, let's come over here. And I guess since I took over this nest, I can heal in it now. That's so cool. To me, pack members. Uh, let's see. Can I summon anybody? Mating call. Hello, hello. All right, and my pack members are saying way over there. So let's go over there because we got the fox wings. Well, there's one more thing that that aggressive tribe had, I think. So let's go raid their their nest. <gasps> I just figured out how to like flap, flap, fly. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, and we're raiders, so we're gonna come in. I'm gonna steal your thing. Haha, <laughs> I stole it. Oh, and it's actually a grasper. That's so cool. That's so fun. I didn't know that's how you fly. Yeah, I've never really tried flying before. This is so cool. And it, sometimes when I get a really good run, I'm able to just keep moving like this without even hitting the ground. Hey, who are you guys? Who are you guys? You're kind of close to my territory, but you're new. Hmm. I might eat you. It won't be it won't be like a matter of uh 
a matter of like I have a problem with you or anything. Just I might be hungry and you don't look like you'd really fight very much. All right, and we got the Gekening, which looks like it's gonna be great for jumping and dancing and everything too. So let's come over and see our meat again. Da 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 da. And then I will see you guys next time when I will have altered our little one once more. And hopefully we will be even better at flying. So I'm going to change this up and I'll see you all then. Bye bye.